Well, you, you said you were looking for a response from from your team. Uh, what, did, what did you see from them tonight? Yeah, first first shift and really the first uh, first five minutes kind of kind of set the tone for us and set the tempo with uh, you know we get get the puck in right away. Um, Wagner runs a guy over on the first shift, gets the bench going that way, and so just kind of you know I can't say enough how much it set the tone and the tempo for the for the contest, and it wasn't wasn't soon thereafter that we started uh, started to get a couple by him, so you know that was. Uh, you know, it's, it was definitely another weird game, but you know, we like we like the flow of it for for a lot of reasons. Well, the power play also was clicking, and obviously Sean Dersey a big part of that, and that was something that struggled yesterday too. What did you see from those guys? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, we, we talked. I talked about tempo and uh, and tone, and it, it, kind of a saying that uh, I accumulate over the years is that. You know the, the tone is set five on five. Um, you know, and with with all your different players, making sure that they're they're aware of uh, you know the other team's strengths and ma making sure we're setting the tone for our team. Uh, and, you know, and your tempo is going to get set as well with within the special teams. And so, you know, how how your best players or your the guys you look to, look forward to to be offensive catalysts if they're ready to battle. And you know if you can shut down the other team's guys. So it was uh, sort of a slugfest there in the special teams. But I did like the way that our power play uh, carried themselves for the majority of the game. And then late in the game, you know, you mentioned special teams. You guys had to kill some penalties in the third period, and you were able to do that. Then you obviously had some more power play time late, but I mean, the penalty kill seemed like it was got better as the game went on. Too. Yeah, they, well, that's that's the one thing that majority of the time, even though our percentage isn't where we want it to be, penalty kills come up with some with some timely kills. You know, we go back to the, like uh, Abbotsford game at home where it was a late late kill to the, tonight in the third period they you know I'm not sure what was going on with those whistles but it, they kept sending us to the box and it's just it, you know you don't want to say it is what it is but it, it just it guys guys you know kept their cool on the bench and we asked a couple other different guys to be uh, part of the penalty killing core tonight and you know they got they got those big kills another a goal there in the in the opening five minutes um, would have been would have been troublesome for us that that's a whole different ball game. I think I went uh, four questions without asking about Sammy, but uh, obviously a big night for him. What, what did you see from his play? Well, it, I like I just like Sammy's game a lot lately. Is he he's been asked to take on a penalty killing role, which those extra minutes they can they can sometimes detract from your offensive output because you know you're you're just you're mentally and physically just uh, waned and, and and taken away from from your, maybe your concentration point. But it's really good for his development, and he's been playing a lot of momentum hockey for us. He's he's done a lot of things along the wall. He's greatly improved improved his defensive zone coverage. And uh, he hasn't found the back of the net in a while. And so it's really, really just, uh, I don't know, it was uh, gratifying from the coaching staff to see to see Sammy get rewarded too. It's only been five games and it seems like Vladimir Kochev has had the chemistry of a guy who's been here for several seasons. How do you think he's meshed with this team to the point where he has nine assists in five games? Yeah, well, I'm not sure, uh, you know, for, at the American League level, it's, it's He's an elite, elite player. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I haven't seen anybody probably as slick as he is. How uh, he never seems to be moving at, at top speed, but it's not, it's not coasting for him. He's still got a pretty decent gear there, so you know he fits, he fits in with a lot of what we, what a lot of what we have. Um, and uh, you know he knows how to find guys, and so it's, it's he's a magician on the power play, so. Um, good on him, and we're just working on the you know the refining parts of his game, and it's a it's a it's a massive adjustment. I mean, he's being asked to do things that he's never had to do um, on an NHL ice before, and you know it's a tough it's a tough a tough spot for him to be in. He's got to completely change you know, the way that he he plays the game without the puck. With the puck, there's no problems at all. And and he, and here he, he gets away with a lot. Like he's he's uh, he's committed to a little bit more of you know some of the things that the Kings had asked him to do coming down, bit better on his puck battles and some more defensive responsibilities and. You know he's 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 very reliable for us. He hardly ever makes a mistake that ends up in our net. Sure, some scoring chances, but that's everybody. And he certainly gives more than he takes. Second time this season that Sean Dursey's had a four-point game on the road. What'd you like from his game tonight? Uh, it's just a lot simpler. Uh, he was he was actually quiet. You know, and that's that, there was nothing electric. He get you know the two shots were great. That's just, that's a skill coming out. But there's no toe drags. There's no one-on-one -on -one play. Um, and I, I I'm not even recollecting his assists. It's just a quiet game where he moved the puck well and defended for us. That's, you know, as a, as a defenseman, if you can just earn the coach's trust to, to gain minutes and, and get out there more often, you get the puck into good players' hands, and then it's you, you can accumulate points. And so that's it was a nice quiet game from him that 
resulted in four points, I guess. You said yesterday that it seemed like you guys uh, were making the mental and physical mistakes. It didn't seem like you guys were at 100%. Did that change today? Well, yeah, one of our one of our big factors is, you know, early on we never got to our four check. We tried to play a line rush game that wasn't there. Um, and, and, and at the end of the day, we just didn't protect the middle of the ice at all. We didn't have any respect for the middle of the ice. And that's, that's you know, it, it was a good learning experience for us. I hate that we hate to lose, but it's, sometimes it's that tangible, you know, effect of, of feeling that, that emotion that's that the only way to take uh, to be able to learn from it. And so we we did that. We addressed it this morning, respecting the middle of the ice, getting back to our four checking habits, and we're reloading over the top uh, defensively. And you know, just being a, a tougher team to play against, not giving um, the opposition. We spent a lot of time in their offensive zone, working working the yellow, working the perimeter, but still having guys at the net front darting in and out. And that's uh, they, the guys executed very nicely today. I was I was, I was really happy for them. I'm not sure anyone circled a Sunday-Monday weekend with Stockton when the season started on their calendar, but it's turned into, I mean, they've had a hot start. It's going to turn into quite the weekend. Uh, what do you do to prepare with, with the full week off? Yeah, well, um, they got, the guys got a couple days off here and then a development day, and then we'll, we've got four days of practice. So we'll, uh, I, I don't, I'm not one to think too far ahead, so I haven't even considered Stockton yet. But, uh, yeah, now that you mention it, it's a pretty marquee matchup. So we'll... Uh, We'll see. I don't really know anything about their team, so I'm, I'm excited to. I like the competition.